Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are talking about the Chanel Ultra Lotte foundation. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. So the Ultra Lotte foundation has been on the market for a few months now. I know it's not brand new, but it is new to Chanel. It's not something that's been on the market for that long. And I have a sample pack here that I want to try out. I think I'll try B30 because that's usually the shade that I wear in a lot of Chanel foundations. I want to start off by talking about the product off of the website here. Now this retails at 60 Canadian plus tax and it is described as the Ultra Latte Velvet is a long wear foundation that naturally smooths and evens out the complexion. Its blurring effect erases all imperfections and ensures makeup with a matte velvet finish. Now, in the Chanel world, whenever they use the word velvet, they really mean matte because if it's a foundation or a lipstick, if they have the word velvet, they really just mean matte. Okay, continuing. Ultra light, ultra matte, and ultra natural. It instantly becomes one with the skin for a flawless complexion all day long. Now, to start, I do not have oily skin. I have dehydrated skin, which means that my skin lacks water, not oil. The foundations that I gravitate towards and enjoy the most have a natural finish, a second skin effect, and usually have a luminous or dewy finish. Now, this one here is described as ultra lightweight and also ultra matte. So I'm very curious how this will wear on my skin type. It is available in 15 shades depending on the region. Here in Canada, there are 15 shades to choose from, but on the American site, there are only 13. So I think the shade ranges vary depending on what country you're in. It also states that this soft emulsion adapts to normal and combination skin for an impeccable result. So this is more geared towards normal combination. Again, anything that's matte is more geared for oily skin types, but I am curious to see how this will wear because it is a matte, but it also seems like it will be soft and second skin. So this is just, I'm very curious about how this will wear. So since I have a sample pack here, I will go ahead and use this, but on the website, it does say to shake the bottle up before you use it, which is pretty standard when it comes to a foundation. Also, something to note, on the pack here, you can clearly see that there is a small sticker right here. If you go on the US Chanel website, you can see that the package says SPF 15. Here in Canada, we have very, very strict laws when it comes to SPF and sunscreen. This means that oftentimes when products have an SPF in it, the Canadian government obliges having a sticker to hide the SPF percentage. I'm not sure why, it's just a rule. If you are Canadian, you will notice that a lot of products have this very small sticker here. It's just to hide that this product has an SPF of 15. I think it has something to do with the fact that they don't want people to think that having an SPF of 15 in your foundation is sufficient sun protection. I think that's where that comes from, but I'm not certain. The instructions say to use this after your skincare and to apply it with a brush or a sponge. I prefer applying foundation with a sponge, so that's what I will do. I'm not sure why, but when I opened the pack, the product seemed much more liquidy than I expected. I thought that it would be thicker, but let's go ahead and just apply it onto the skin and see how it blends. Okay, so I think 30 was the appropriate shade. I went in pretty light at first, just to see it's always easier to add makeup than to remove. It feels like a regular liquid foundation. I don't know why I thought maybe it would be thicker or more moussey for some reason. I think I will just add a second layer everywhere just to have it be nice and even. Okay, so this does look matte, but it also has a little bit of lightness to it. When I often think of a matte foundation, I think of something that kind of just sucks the moisture and the luminosity out of my skin, but I still feel like my complexion looks radiant. And also this foundation feels lightweight. It feels like second skin. For some reason, I always associated light foundation with 
more luminous and glowy foundations, but this one does feel very lightweight. It also does offer a nice level of coverage, but again, it feels in the light to medium range. I feel like you can really start off with something very light and natural and just build it up. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup with a bit of concealer, bronzer, blush, etc., and come right back. So far, really good. I'm honestly initially very impressed because as I mentioned, I generally tend to avoid anything that's matte. To me, that just seems so drying and just, you know, I have these like smile lines. So at the end of the day, a matte foundation usually tends to just like settle in here. And if I have any dead skin, usually a matte foundation picks up on that. So what I will do is I'm gonna go ahead and wait several hours and do a check-in later on and give my final thoughts at the end of the day because right now everything looks great, nothing looks dry, nothing has settled into my lines, but we need to wait a few hours to see if this shifts, if this transfers, if this settles in anywhere, and then we can discuss and give final thoughts. Hi guys, it has been five hours since I was last here, and I'm here for some updates. So first of all, I am shocked. This foundation is beautiful. It has the most soft, velvet finish. When I hear the words matte foundation, I think dry, I think drying, I think not great things to be honest, but there is something quite magical about this foundation because it really does give just like the most beautiful soft velvet finish. It is matte, but it doesn't feel flat. I feel like there are some matte foundations out there that just feel so flat and drying and are just really not lovely. This one here is really beautiful. And I am so confused by this because going into this review, I thought for sure I would not like this foundation, but I really love it. Just to compare, I have the Ultra Latin foundation, which is described as a luminous matte finish, but when I think of all the times that I've worn this foundation, I think I might actually prefer this velvet finish. I am so confused. I feel like up is down, left is right. I don't know what's going on anymore. But the Ultra Latin is a soft matte. It has like a almost like luminous, like semi-matte finish. Whereas this Ultra Latin velvet is a pure matte and it is beautiful. I have not noticed any caking or accumulation in the smile lines right here. This foundation has not picked up any dry skin. It's not emphasizing any dryness or dehydration. My skin looks beautiful in this. It's, it's gorgeous. I don't know what's going on. Is it a full moon? Is it Friday the 13th? I don't know. But this Ultra Latin Velvet Foundation is absolutely beautiful. It also wears very well. Like I, I'm not noticing any fading. I did eat and drink, etc. But there's not really much wear. Obviously, if you take a tissue and like rub your face, it'll transfer, but it's worn very well. It's very, very natural. It's light. It feels lightweight. It has the most beautiful finish. It doesn't feel dry. I'm not noticing any dry skin. I'm not noticing it pick up on any dry bits. It's it's a great foundation. I am absolutely shocked. I am so surprised because I do love the Ultra Latte, but when I'm comparing it to the Velvet, I think the Velvet is nicer. The Velvet has like a nice, soft, almost more luminous finish, and I don't understand. I don't know if the Velvet finish has something special in it because this is supposed to be a luminous matte, but when I compare both of them, I feel like I'm enjoying the Velvet finish more. I don't know what's going on, you guys. I am so confused by these results, but the Ultra Latin Velvet Foundation is a beautiful foundation. I do not have oily skin, I have dehydrated skin. Normally, I wear foundations for dry or mature skin because since my skin lacks water, anytime a product is too matte, my skin just looks crepey and dry. And with this, I don't have that effect, so I'm shocked. This was such a pleasant surprise. Going into this review, I thought that I would find this foundation to be, you know, so-so for dry skin because I remember last year I tried out the Rihanna Fenty foundation, the one 
that was meant for dry for oily skin sorry and i hated that one it was way too dry whereas this one is beautiful i'm so confused i mean i would totally recommend this ultra Lotte velvet foundation i think it's absolutely beautiful i would say you know try to get a sample if you have very very dry skin just in case but as i'm saying like i'm not seeing any dry bits there's no creasing it's it's quite remarkable i kind of wish i owned the full size of this foundation now but i do have to use up some of my own foundations before i buy a new one and i also heard from a little birdie that chanel is possibly coming out with a new foundation this year i have no other news i have no idea what collection it will be i don't think it'll be part of the Le beige but who knows but yeah, I just heard that they are coming out with a new foundation, but I have no other information on that. So yeah, I think this is the end of the review. I am so shocked still. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the video. Were you surprised with the results? I was. I didn't think it would be as wonderful as it is, but it's beautiful. Let me know if you have the Ultra Latin foundation or if you have the velvet foundation at home, let us know. So if you happen to enjoy today's video, please like, comment, and also subscribe. Those all help my channel grow. And if you are new to my channel, I post luxury makeup reviews and luxury makeup tutorials. So what I do is when I get a collection, I will create five or six different looks with the same collection. That way you at home really get a sense of how to use up all of your products. And I often mix and match with different and like older items, like different brands, just to, you know, play with makeup like that. So if that sounds interesting to you, please subscribe. Okay, I think this about does it for today's video. I am still so pleasantly surprised and shocked. Anyway, I hope you guys had a beautiful day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.